Well, I'm back with my girls, and it's time to step into the world of film. So, Tara, you're going to take us on a cinematic journey, <laughs> and we're going to use the love language sort of as a base. So we kind of gave you an, an assignment. <laughs> take these six love languages and find the films. <laughs> oh, you're excited! Find the films to match the love language. Did you like this assignment? <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you enjoy this? So I get assigned crazy fun things yeah. to be on City Line, and I always love them. This arguably has been my favorite one like because one. to think about the movies and rom-coms and romantic drama, I was just all in, all okay. in. Hey. So um, the first one, you want to start with gifts? Let's start with gifts. Uh -oh. This Let's is for you, T. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty woman. Yes. The shopping scene. Yes. The shopping scene. Yes. When Richard. But what is that movie about? <laughs> About. If you are a gift girl, a prostitute. Yes. Yeah, so that's okay. Yeah. Okay. But if you are a gift girl, <laughs> hey, it's hard work. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is hard work. Mm -hmm. But if you are a gift girly, that shopping scene is making your heart yes. go pitter patter. Yes. 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 Richard Gere saying we are going to spend an obscene oh, yes. amount of money. Yes. <laughs> yes. Julia Roberts being able to go back to the shop that mm. did not pay any attention to her yes. and Sights saying, right there, big mistake, that. Yeah. huge mm. mistake. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That is gifts. Yeah, that's it's good. all you need if you're a gifts girly. You are watching that scene with like a, mm-hmm. It was mm -hmm. so good, poetic justice. Yeah. So you you think it's a little bit bad because it shows you that it's like the affection for money type of thing? Yeah, but I did get excited when I just saw that Absolutely. scene. <laughs> <laughs> I like, Absolutely. Yeah, Sorry. I can't lie. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Again, I liked it too. Respect the assignment. Yeah. This right. is not about does the movie still work? Does it age well? Yeah. This is about the love language of gifts. That scene gets you where you need to go. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Yes. I think the movie still works too. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I like it. Okay, second up. Uh, second up, oh, words of affirmation. Yes. Moulin Rouge. Okay, how? Because Ewan McGregor is actually a writer, and he's writing the love story of he oh. and Satine. He writes all the love songs for her. Yes. He sings oh. the love okay. songs for yes. her. Yes. Boy, Terry. And, right? Yes. Right? Yes. And I have a personal thing for Moulin Rouge because I actually fell in love with my husband watching that movie. Aww. Oh, you did? Come on. It's still, I, I oh watched it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like we actually felt the feeling of love oh watching that movie. You guys movie. are all words of affirmation. We are That's all words beautiful. of affirmation. Oh. Yeah, I love that was movie. Was that a date or was that? Yeah, it was an afternoon date. We both played hooky and hey. went to see, <laughs> because I'm the person who plays hooky and goes to a movie. And yeah. uh, I respect that. Yeah, it was a it, matinee too. Yeah, it's extra dirty. Yes, yes. Extra dirty. yes. And <laughs> there was no. There's just something about it, right? Yeah. And there was nobody else in that movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's Man, right. You fell in love. <laughs> That's right. I fell in love. That's beautiful. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's so nice. Moulin Rouge. If you haven't seen it, <laughs> see it. It really is beautiful. It's a crazy frenetic musical. Yes. But absolutely fantastic. And that Nicole Kidman performance. Whoo! Amazing. Spectacular. Okay. What's your uh, next love language and next film? Quality time. Yes. Love and basketball, folks. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Yes. Good okay. one. All the yes. We spend time with Monica and Quincy yeah. from the time they're children through yes. adulthood. Yes. Love it. They know throughout the movie that they are each other's person. And when he says to her at the end, double or nothing, he is not talking about basketball. <laughs> that is all I'm saying. He is talking about love. That's yeah. right. And I love this too. I want a sequel. Yeah. Gina Prince Bythewood, like get on that. Yeah, Where right. are Monica and Quincy now? Yes. Yes. Where is that cute child we yeah. see at the end? Yes. yes. Let's get on that. I yes. want all the movies like that. I'm because right. we're not really doing rom coms anymore. Don't get me started. This yeah, is a genre like that they need. They need that. Yeah. We need it. And we used to do rom coms with actors who were kind of not exactly well known or the biggest stars in the world. Yes. And now they've kind of sidelined them. They've said people mm -hmm. don't want to spend money to go to the movie theater to see that. Would you guys spend okay. money to go to the rom yes. com? Yes. 100%. Yes, we would. Me too. Midday. Me too. Midday. 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 Midday.
Touch on daytime TV? Never. <laughs> um, oh, physical touch. Physical touch. Guys, what you know I'm going there. This? I, I, I think I know where you're going yeah. with this Do one. Do you know where she's going? Fifty Shades of yeah, Grey! Yeah. Yeah. That was my guess. That was my yeah. guess. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. Well, Listen, yeah. this was the book <laughs> at the time that Fifty Shades of Grey was the biggest book in the world. I was yeah. traveling a ton, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, e-readers were much more popular than they used to be because <laughs> nobody wanted anybody to see what they were reading. Yes, and you know, it, it launched the careers of Jamie Dornan and Dakota Johnson. Mm -hmm. It is changed the idea of a red room. Changed the yes. like. I mean, there was a lot going on in Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, but a physical touch is your jam. Fifty Shades of Grey. Either. That'll deliver. <laughs> they will deliver. I remember, I remember reading the first book because so many people were talking about it, and I'm in it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so badly written. Better read the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure. Just to make sure. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's still bad. Better read the third. <laughs> <laughs> exactly read them happening. all. Yeah. Read them all yeah. in record time. Yeah. I was like, I get it. <laughs> Leo? Yeah. <laughs> Have you heard yes, of I get it. Shades of Grey? <laughs> um, okay, acts of service. Yeah. Titanic, he gave her the door. Oh, he gave her the door. That was a big act of service. He drew her. Big. Like his French girls. Yeah. Yes. He taught her how to spit. Okay, maybe we don't like that. Yeah. But I'm telling you, Jack showed up for Rose when Rose needed it. Mm -hmm. Big time. And she had the whistle and he had nothing. Absolutely. <laughs> and I don't want he to talk. Nothing. nothing. He had yeah, nothing. I, I mean, in retrospect, could they not both have finished? They could have oh, both finished. Yeah. Could they have finished? There fit was on enough the room for the both of those. It, Come wouldn't, on. it wouldn't have made us go back to see that movie time and time again. I guess. Yeah. I guess. I'm that you. was a big act of service. Okay, we got one more. Okay, one more. Oh, yeah. I feeling known? Feeling known. This is a Insane. movie that everybody should watch. It's called Rye Lane. It's okay. relatively new, just out now. Yeah. Um, it is about two people in London who are experiencing a breakup, and they both kind of try to pretend somebody, pretend to be somebody they're not. Okay. But they see through each other, and mm. they find each other, and they they connect. And it's also, you say we're not making rom-coms anymore? Yeah. Here's a rom-com that was just made. Watch it right now. I will. Spectacular. Oh. 100% yeah, really, I will. really great. Netflix Beautiful. Series. Pardon? Netflix? Disney Plus. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Lise, what about you? Is there a yeah. film that showcases your love language? Um, not a film, but I'm going to say show, and okay. that was This Is Us. Yeah. I, you know, okay. yeah. Oh, they got some fans. Yes. Okay, outside of the fact that it took days to recover after many shows <laughs> on This Is Us, yeah. um, it's Jack. It's Jack for me. Jack was all about the acts of service for Rebecca and vice versa. Yeah. You know, they were always looking out for each other. And Beautiful. I love they were young yeah. love too. T, do you have an, uh, a film or a TV show that goes with gifts? Not really, but I guess no. I'm going to have to go after seeing that scene from... <laughs> Pretty Women, I guess yes. I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. Last year on the Bachelor series, there was a date, and one of the girls got to, one of the women got to shop in London. And usually I wouldn't be into that, but I was like, no, 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 I like that. Yeah. 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 Because at the end, even if you don't get a rose, you have a gown and jewelry. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I got something yeah. out of That's the experience, right. which yeah. is nice, a memento. Yeah. Okay, now something else for our lovely audience. Indulge your loved one's senses with a perfect blend of sweetness and squishiness with scented Jelly Belly squishy toys with a delightful fragrance and the irresistible charm of a Jelly Belly. It's a gift that combines playfulness with the aromatic allure of love. And all of you are taking home your own Jelly Belly squishy toys. <laughs>